हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फूड टेक नेटवर्क इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब्ड आवर यूट्यूब चैनल येट देन सब्सक्राइब इट नाउ एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन फॉर रेगुलर अपडेट्स विजिट आवर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट फूड टेक नेटवर्क डॉट इन एंड ज्वाइन आर ग्रुप्स वी शेयर्स जॉब्स वेबिनार्स क्विजेज ट्रेनिंग्स न्यूज ऑन डेली बेसिस वी नेवर चार्ज एनी कंसल्टेंसी फी फॉर जॉब्स so the topic for our today's lecture is grape wine so yeah wine is defined differently in the laws of different countries like for example uh, in china wine uh, wine is considered to be an alcoholic beverage and the chinese word for it may be translated as appetite wine and similarly in california it is defined as the fermented juice of various fruits uh okay but wine is generally denote uh, is being denoted as the product that is being produced by fermentation of grape juice okay so the most uh, satisfactory definitions of wine seems to be uh, like wine is a beverage uh, resulting from the fermentation of yeast of the grape juice with proper processing and addition okay so in other words wine strictly uh, signifies the fermented alcoholic beverage produced from grape juice uh, without distillation okay so yeah let us read what is written here uh, wine is an alcoholic drink typically made from fermented grapes yeast consumes the sugar in the grapes and converts it uh, it to ethanol and carbon dioxide releasing heat in the process and wine has been produced for thousand of years and wines are not uh, only made from ge- uh, grapes they also uh, involves uh, other fruits like uh, other fruits like cherry pomegranate okay and uh, elderberry rice wine are, are also there okay but in this lecture we will be focusing on the grape wines so grape wines are mainly of two kinds that are dry, uh, dry grape wine and sweet grape wine and also white wine and red wine here are the uh, here is the question that why are only grape uh, why are grapes are being considered as the best for wine okay so uh, grapes have have been historically associated with wine making because of the advantages like um, the grape juice is extremely rich in natural sugar the uh, natural association of fermentative yeast with berries and high content of nitrogenous matter in promoting growth of yeast and hence fermentation and high acidity of juice favoring uh, yeast and protecting against other bacterial fermentation and high alcohol and acid content in the fermented wine keep it stable and safe for pro- uh, prolonged storage okay next is uh, yeah there are two varieties of uh, there are the varieties of wines are endless and they differ in so many attributes that it, it is difficult to classify them but according to color there are two types that is red and white okay so in in white wine so white my uh, white wine is being made from white or greenish grapes or from the juice of grapes uh, f- from which the skin has been removed and the uh, red wine okay so the grapes in red wine the grapes are being crushed and stemmed but the skin and seeds are left in the must okay and grape wines are of two kinds that is dry wine and sweet wine okay so dry wines are those which contain very less or no sugar that can be detected by testing and okay by testing and in sweet wines the sugar content is high enough to be detected by the taste and the alcoholic content okay uh, on the basis of alcoholic content the uh, wines are also being deferred as light wine medium wine and strong wine okay so the alcoholic content of uh, the dry and sweet wine ranges from 7 to 20% okay so wines with 7 to 9% alcohol are known as light wine and those in between 6 to sorry 9 to 16% are called as medium wine and those with 16 to 21% are called as strong wines and also there is another uh, type of wines that is sparkling wines so sparkling wines contain carbon dioxide so they are made effervescent effervescent by secondary fermentation in closed containers and generally in the bottles itself 
सो स्टिल वाइन्स आर दोज विच डू नॉट कंटेन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड बट फोर्टिफाइड वाइन्स कंटेन एडेड एल्कोहल इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ ब्रैंडी एंड जनरली वाइन्स विद मोर देन ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ एल्कोहल आर फोर्टिफाइड विद फ्रूट ब्रैंडी एल्कोहल ओके एंड प्रिपेयर बाय डिस्टिलिंग द ग्रेप वाइन सो स्पार्कलिंग वाइन्स आर दोज विच कंटेन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नेक्स्ट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रेप वाइन ओके द प्रोसेस ऑफ ग्रे मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ग्रेप वाइन सो हेयर इज इन फ्लो चार्ट सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड द फ्लो चार्ट इनटू टू स्लाइड्स सो फर्स्ट द राइप ग्रेप्स ओके वी रिसीव द ग्रेप एंड वी वेट देम ओके देन वी क्रश देम एंड वी क्रश देम बाय द बास्केट प्रोसेस ओके then we cold soak them then the grapes are being fermented with their skin okay then uh, draining of wine and pressing of skins so okay next is wine rag of uh, gross lees and malolactic fermentation then barrel or tank maturation then stabilized and clarified and filtered and bottled so let us see these methods in in detail okay so in this overview we have learned the um, process of grape wine and in uh, in this the ripe grape are being uh, weighed and then their stems are being removed then they are being crushed by basket process then they are filled in the jars up for up to 3 uh, or 4 days four days okay then there is a uh, addition of sugar okay 20 to 24% uh, total soluble so uh, sugar will be there then there is a ad adjustment of ph 0.6 to 0.8 percent acid should be there then there is a addition of preservatives <clears throat> then we keep it for an hour and then is, there is an addition of wine yeast uh, what is known as wine yeast saccharomyces ellipsodius okay this uh, this yeast is known as wine yeast okay then they are being fermented again and filtration fermentation for 10 days um, okay follow filtration followed by 10 days fermentation then the uh, there is racking then there is thinning and filtration then there is again uh, sorry there is aging maturation okay then there is pasteurization at 85 degrees celsius then there is bottling crown corking and um, pasteurization at uh, again pasteurization at 82 degrees celsius for 20 minutes and then cooling and storage okay so let us read the, the uh, these steps in detail so before this uh, i would like to tell you the equipments used for wine making so for crushing and pressing there are roller crushers and basket press and for uh, primary fermentation vessels is there like open ended cylindrical vessel of suitable size made up of plastic or wood and for secondary fermentation vessel uh, the vessel is like a narrow mouthed uh, narrow mouthed containers of wood plastic or glass okay and other equipments like thermometer hydrometer hand refractometer measuring cylinder or um, filters bottles crown corks and corking machines are also required so let us start with selection of fruit okay so the grape berries should be ripe and fresh and uh, blemished ones should be re rejected okay and white wine is produced from uh, varieties having greenish or yellow skin and red wine derived uh, is being derived from uh, their color from red pigments present in the skin or flesh of colored varieties okay red wines derive their color from uh, red pigment present in the skin or flesh of the colored varieties and different species and different varieties of grapes uh, suitable for wine making are okay are there uh, next is crushing okay so the crushing process is being done with the help of basket press and before crushing the grape um, be before crushing the grape grapes okay their stems and stalks are being being removed and crushed material is known as must that must is being put in in the jars which uh, should not be filled more than 3/4 okay next there is addition of sugar so uh, cane sugar is added to maintain at least 20% total soluble solids but not more than 
24 percent okay so if grapes are uh, sour 70 gram of sugar are added to each kilogram of grapes next is adjustment of ph so if necessary ph of juice has to be adjusted and if it is too low the juice is uh, diluted with water if it is too high tartaric acid is being added to lower the ph okay so if water is added more sugar has also to be added to raise the percentage of total soluble solids okay so usually an acid content of wine should be 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 percent okay it should be maintained next is addition of preservatives not adjustment of preservatives it is mistyped here addition of preservatives okay so potassium metabisulfite uh, meta okay kms potassium metabisulfite is being added at the rate of 1.5 gram for every 10 kg of grapes so mixed and allowed to stand for uh, 2 to 4 minutes so potassium metabisulfite inhibits growth of uh, wild yeast and spoilage organism okay it inhibits the growth of wild yeasts and uh, any other spoilage microorganisms next is addition of wine yeast i have also told you earlier that wine yeast is known as saccharomyces ellipso ellipsoideus okay so um, the wine yeast uh, <coughs> saccharomyces ellips, uh, ellipsoideus uh, inoculum is added at the rate of 20 ml for every 5 kg of grapes and about an hour after the addition of preservative so if the yeast is not available then potassium metabisulfite is ad is not added okay if the yeast is not available then potassium metabisulfite is not added and the yeast uh, present in the skin of grapes can also ferment and produce wine but it is not of good quality the yeast present in the skin of grapes can also ferment but it is not of good quality next is fermentation so grapes are allowed to ferment for two days in a cool place and uh, that is uh, that should be 22 to 28 degrees celsius so the mouth of the jar is covered with cloth during fermentation and the filtration next process is filtration so these are small small processes so they don't require uh, much explanation i am explaining them you in short you all know what is filtration so the content are being filtered through a thin muslin cloth or a filter aid on the third day okay and the filter rate again allowed to ferment in cool place for another 10 days without any disturbance so during this period yeast cells and other solids settle at the bottom next is racking so yeah the fermented wine to the sif uh, siphoning of the fermented wine to separate it from the solid deposits is known as racking next is uh, thinning and filtration so a newly prepared wine is sometimes not clear and require thinning and filtration so a suitable uh, thinning agent for example uh, bentonite is being added so all the colloidal material settles down along with bentonite and the clear wine is uh, siph uh, siphoned off okay and filtered is necessary if necessary so alternatively the wine is stored in a refrigerator for about two weeks and thereafter the clear wine is siphoned off okay next is aging or maturation so the clear wine which is uh, siphoned off is filled into bottles or barrels so these should be filled completely and sealed air tightly so the wine is allowed to mature for six to eight months in a cool place and sometimes fermentation continues in the bottle with the uh, result that the cork uh, flies off or bottle cracks okay so wine losses its flavor during aging because of the because of which barrel of oak wood are generally used okay we have generally seen the barrel of oak uh, barrel of wood okay the cork on the on the wine wine bottles okay so that is being used to helps the wine to maintain its flavor and the wood imparts a fine aroma to the wine okay next is last is packaging so the volatile acid content of wine mainly acetic acid should be low and high content of volatile acid uh, volatile acid indicates that the acetic acid bacteria are active during fermentation so it is often desirable to pasteurize the wine to destroy spoilage organism and coagulate the colloidal uh, that causes cloudiness so yeah generally wines are pasteurized at 82 to 88 degrees celsius for two one to two minutes and then bottled 
so the the bottles are closed with crown corks of good quality okay they maintain the fine aroma to the wine and pasteurized at 65 degree celsius for about 20 minutes and then cooled and stored okay thank you okay sorry yeah thank you for watching and do visit our website www.foottechnetwork.in